Unit 3 Our Human Body A Wonderful Machine Just as a house is supported by concrete pillars, a mandap is supported by a bamboo structure, an umbrella is supported by the metal ribs. Similarly, our body is supported by a bony structure called the skeleton. It gives us strength and also protects our delicate organs. Cells to Organ System Cells Look at this house. It is made up of a number of bricks. Similarly, our body is made up of millions of tiny units called cells. All living things are made up of cells. Tissues Cells of similar type join together to form a tissue. There are many types of tissues on the basis of different types of cells they are made up of. The tissues that make up the muscles are different from the tissues that make up the bones. Organs Different types of tissues join to form an organ. Eyes Nose Tongue are organs that are made up of tissues that help us to see, smell and taste. A football game can only be won if all the players play it in a coordinated manner. Similarly, our body organs also need to function in a coordinated manner for us to live a healthy life. When a group of organs cooperate with one another to carry out a function of the body, we call it an organ system. Look at this diagram showing the journey of a cell to form an organ system. Now, let's look at the organ systems in our body and how these systems function. The digestive system. Our body cannot use the food in the form we eat. It has to be broken down into simple substances. This process of changing the food into simpler substances is called digestion. Process of digestion Mouth The process of digestion starts in the mouth. We chew the food with our teeth. As we do so, a juice is secreted in the mouth. This juice is called saliva. Saliva mixes with the food and makes it soft. The more you chew your food, the better it mixes with saliva. The food is partially digested here. After the food has been chewed properly, you swallow it. It goes down a tube called the food pipe. The food pipe carries the food to the stomach. Stomach The stomach is like a muscular bag. The walls of the stomach secrete other digestive juices. These juices help to change the chewed food into simpler substances. From the stomach, the food goes into the small intestine. Small intestine. It is a long coil tube. Some more digestive juices mix with the food here, digesting it completely. 
the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and pass it on to the blood vessels. The blood vessels carry the digested food all over the body, supplying it with nutrition. Some parts of the food are not digested. This undigested food reaches the large intestine. Large intestine The walls of the large intestine absorb the water and the rest of the undigested food is released from the body through the anus. Waste food should leave the body, otherwise it will harm your health. That is why you should develop regular toilet habits. The circulatory system The circulatory system consists of the heart and blood vessels. Your heart is the size of your fist. The heart works just like a pump. It pumps blood to all parts of your body. Put your hand on the left side of your chest. What do you feel? This is your heart pumping blood. There are three types of blood vessels in the human body. Arteries and veins are large blood vessels and capillaries are thin hair-like blood vessels. Blood makes up to about 7% of body weight for a normal healthy adult. You must have seen doctors use an instrument called stethoscope. They use this instrument to listen and count your heartbeat. Heart of an adult beats 72 times per minute. Pulse is the measure of heartbeat. Place two fingers on your wrist just below the thumb. You can feel the pulse if you press your fingers a little. Unit 3 Our Human Body A Wonderful Machine Process of Circulation Blood carries digested food and oxygen to each and every cell of the body. It also carries back carbon dioxide and waste material back to the heart. The heart sends this impure blood to the lungs to be purified. Arteries generally carry pure blood that contains oxygen from the heart to different parts of the body and the veins usually carry impure blood that contains carbon dioxide back to the heart. This goes on continuously, even when you are sleeping. Human Respiratory System All living things breathe air. We breathe in and breathe out through our nose. The nose has fine hair which trap dust particles. You must always breathe through your nose and not through your mouth. This prevents dust from entering your body. The respiratory system consists of the nose, the windpipe and a pair of lungs. As you breathe in through your nose, air containing oxygen goes in. Through the windpipe, it reaches the lungs. The windpipe connects the nose to the lungs. Lungs are made up of thousands of air sacs, which look like bunches of grapes. Each air sac is surrounded by blood capillaries. There is an exchange of gases between air sacs and blood capillaries in the lungs. 
process of respiration impure blood is brought from the different parts of the body to the heart from the heart it goes to the lungs as you breathe the air containing oxygen reaches the air sacs in the lungs and the blood takes up oxygen from the air sacs and releases carbon dioxide the air sacs now contain carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide leaves your body as you breathe out this process goes on continuously and is called breathing the oxygen helps to release energy by burning the digested food in every cell this process is called respiration remember to follow these healthy habits breathe through your nose try to get as much fresh air as you can physical exercise is the best way to build a strong and healthy body play games as exercise helps you to breathe more deeply and you get more oxygen do not sleep with your face covered as you will not be able to breathe fresh air